Okay. What's the prediction for today? 2 1 Paddy. Yes! <laughs> We're here in South London, England. It's episode 4 of Footy Trips. Welcome to Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace got their name from Queen Victoria's Great Exhibition for which a Crystal Palace was specifically built. The club was then founded by workers from the Great Exhibition and the Crystal Palace can still be seen on their crest today. There are claims by the club that Crystal Palace should be recognised as the oldest football club in the world. Formed in 1861 but not made officially professional until 1905. I'll leave that one up to you. Sellers Park is the home to some great players, Ian Roy, Garrett Southgate and of course their wonder boy Wilfred Zaha. Sellers Park has a capacity of around 25,000 and it was at this ground in 1995 that Eric Cantona infamously kicked a Palace fan. When asked later did he regret what he'd done, he said he regrets not kicking them harder. Okay. What's the prediction for today? 2 1 Paddy. Yes! <laughs> We're here with Kieran here, a big Palace fan. So uh, Kieran, we've got a couple of questions for you uh, to see what Palace really means to you. So I suppose first question is, what was your best memory in Sellers Park? Probably Liverpool coming back from 3-0 down. Uh, that was the best of all, was a big one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> Love nor money. How much does Crystal Palace mean to you? If someone gave you two options today, would you be twenty thousand pounds into your bank account right now, or Palace can go on and win the FA Cup? Palace to win the FA Cup. Yeah, wow. that's yeah. yeah. Why is that? Just lifetime opportunity, isn't it? I'm still young. I've got, I've got a life ahead of me. Just, it's my love. I just watch it every, every Saturday. We think match day, and we feel like. Waiting for it. If you get all three right, you become one of the top fans in uh, in Europe. So you'll get your name on the the Wall of Fame. So first question is, who did Crystal Palace host in their first ever Premier League game in August 1992? Was it Arsenal or Blackburn? Blackburn. Yes, correct. Question number two: True or false? Julian Speroni has never been sent off in the Premier League. True. Correct. Here we go. Beyond the top fan. The <laughs> wall of fame. The third question. What county in Ireland is Palace legend Damien Delaney from? Is it Cork or Dublin? Cork. Correct. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> top fan, Karen. Why do you think people should come to Sellers Park and see Palace? Atmosphere. Straight away. Yeah. You're building something new with the air right? It's just. That it doesn't stop singing. It's just a great experience, to be honest. What we're about to find out today, big London derby. What's your final prediction? 2 0 Palace. There we go. Best of luck. Thank nice you. one. <laughs> Cheers. We've just arrived in Selhurst Park. Lovely, lovely stadium. An hour and a half to kick off, so as you know, the Premier League clubs, they take a while to fill up. But um, it's just crazy to think that this club. Only in 2010, just 12 years ago, we're one game away from possible extinction. Um, they're in the championship. They had to play Sheffield Wednesday on the last game of the season. Palace needed a point to stay up and relegate Wednesday. Wednesday needed to win to relegate Palace. Finished 2 all. Palace stayed up in the championship. Wednesday went down. Three years later, in 2013, they got promoted to the Premier League, which was beyond belief for, for the for the Palace fans. Their their club looked like it was in it was finished really in 2010. Three years later their Premier League club, they haven't gone back down since. It's absolutely magical. Um what a what a club, uh, fair play to them. Twelve years ago, nearly gone forever. And today they're hosting Chelsea in a London derby in the Premier League.
massive game, a eh? London derby. I think this has been going to be a one-all. Well, come on, the Palace! So far, Chelsea fans, very loud. Half time here in Selhurst, Zaha has missed arguably the chance of his life. It should well be 1 0 Palace. It's one all, and credit to the Chelsea fans, they've actually been very loud. Um, but look, we're here in the in the corporate box, bang smack in the middle of Sellers Park. Perfect seats, courtesy of Mr. Rude Robin here. He's given us the box. Um, if you want to get a box in Sellers, if this is something you want to do, Groundhop underscore XL. Rude, what do you think uh, of the game so far? I think uh, it's not the best game of the season. Uh, Zaha was shit. He missed the best best chance of the of the match. Well, I would have scored it with with my with my other leg, but uh, it's okay. It's a nice atmosphere. We have a full box, uh, so it's great. So, uh, Robin, do you want to show us around the box to show people what they can get if they if they come to the box? Okay. Here's the what box. What you see is what you get. A lot of nice people, beer, wine. And root. And a lot of, lot of drinks over there in the box. Normally he's full, but there are a lot of alcoholics in the box right now, so now he's almost empty. That's what you get. But if you come to this, if you come to Root's box in Sellers Park, you've got free drink for the whole game. If you pay. <laughs> done by the Crystal Palace fans where it should have been a draw late in the day 89th minute uh, Chelsea went on and nicked it look uh, full price of the trip was 174 and that's flights return all in match ticket 174 and um, in terms of match rating I'm gonna give them a 6.5 uh, to be 100% honest like in the pubs and stuff pre-game speaking to Palace fans they're all very nice really welcoming good fans but when it came to the match atmosphere itself, unfortunately, you could actually hear the away fans a lot more than you could hear the home end, which for me is never a good sign. The Chelsea fans were very loud, and I, other than glad all over at the beginning, you couldn't really hear the Palace fans, which was really disappointing because every a lot of people said that the Palace fans were some of the best in the country, and just personally today, I, I didn't I didn't witness that, so it was unfortunate, but. I'm gonna give them a respectable 6.5 out of 10 and yeah look fair play palace great club great atmosphere in general just wasn't 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 um goosebumps atmosphere wasn't uh, electric um, but yeah look have to respect them 
um, they should have got a result today. It's just unfortunate, but yeah. Um, that was episode four of 40 Trips, and now it's time for a point of the local.